Hello and welcome to this video demonstration of the patch liner. In this video, you will see a real experiment performed on a four channel patch liner where CHO cells expressing NAV 1.5 were used. The patch liner is a fully automated patch clamp system using HECA EPC10 amplifiers. In this four channel patch liner, one quadro amplifier from HECA is used. For an eight channel patch liner, the experiment is performed in exactly the same way but two quadro amplifiers are present and eight cells are recorded simultaneously rather than the four shown in this video. This is the consumable for the patch liner, the MPC16 chip. There are 16 chambers. The borosilicate glass substrate is sandwiched between two plastic moulds making microfluidic channels. The consumable is the same regardless of whether you're using a four or eight channel system. In this four channel system, four wells are filled and used before moving on to the next four and so on until all 16 chambers are used. Here in red, you see where the internal solution is present in this U-shaped channel. The thin blue line is part of the external solution fluidic. The cell sits at the crossing of the two channels. Here we see the software of the patch liner system and the system itself is seen in the bottom right corner. On the top left, we see the patch control HT software controlling the robot. There are different commands for controlling both the amplifier and the actions of the robot. On the top right, we see the oscilloscope window and the amplifier commands. To start an experiment, the user presses the play button. The user is prompted to check that the chip is loaded, the correct position selected, the experimental parameters are set correctly, and that cells and solutions are loaded. The pipette then goes to the wash station and washes with water before picking up internal solution and adding it to the four internal compartments of the chip. The pipette then washes again at the wash station, the chip moves into the measurement site, the measure head moves down and the pipette picks up external solution for the four external chambers of the chip. As the external solution is added, a square pulse appears on the oscilloscope window. Once solutions have been added to the four channels, the robot goes through a series of commands to check contact between the internal and external electrodes, subtract the offset, adjust the gain and apply pressure. The pipette now picks up the cells, in contrast to the addition of solutions, where the pipette picks up enough solution to fill all positions. To ensure the best cell capture, the pipette picks up the cells for each well separately. As the cells are added, suction is used from underneath to attract a cell to the hole. When the cell is captured, the test pulse current decreases as the seal resistance increases. This occurs for all four channels sequentially. Once the four cells are captured, the holding potential is reduced down to minus 30 millivolts and the cells are washed with external solution. This washes the rest of the cells away and helps to seal the cells on the chip. Next, the holding potential is ramped down to minus 100 millivolts and suction is used to get into the whole cell configuration. Once the software detects that the whole cell configuration is achieved, Based on cell capacitance and series resistance, suction is reduced and cells are washed again with external recording solution. After addition of the external solution, the cell capacitance and series resistance are compensated automatically. 
Patch Control HT software checks parameters such as seal resistance and disables any cells that do not pass the quality control criteria. In this case, all four cells have more than 500 mega ohm seal resistance and are ready for the experiment. First, a voltage relationship is recorded. The IV automatically displayed for all enabled wells. The raw traces are shown in the oscilloscope window. Following the IV, a pharmacology experiment is run. A continuous voltage step protocol from a holding potential of minus 100 millivolts to zero millivolts is run. The online analysis shows peak current plotted against time. After a short period of time, the cells are washed with external solution, indicated by the vertical grey line. Following this, the pipette picks up the first concentration of compound, in this case, 3 micromolar tetracaine. This is indicated by the next vertical grey line and the light blue colour. A second concentration of tetracaine is then added, followed by a third, fourth and fifth concentration. At the end of the experiment, the pipette is washed and the chip wagon moves out of the measuring position. Now a new experiment can be started or the cleanup routine is run. You can reload the files to replay the data offline by simply clicking on the replay tab and double clicking on the file you want to open. Click on the load.dat file to load the raw traces into the oscilloscope window. You can display current amplitudes as well as other parameters such as seal resistance. For further analysis, load the data into Igor using the Patchliner tab. Choose the appropriate analysis parameters, pick the file that you want to load, display the data, fit the concentration response curves and get the average result for your compound. Data can be manually inspected by clicking on the raw tab. It's that simple. If you want more information about the patch liner, contact us today.